There are hundreds of people who think they are possessed and all this. There is a science like that, one can use energies negatively to cause harm to somebody else. A cobra also has a certain influence on this life simply because it holds its breath for long periods of time. Don't take body lightly, it's not a small imprisonment. But when one realizes how they got him, now they know how to leave. This disembodied life has no discriminatory mind. It will tend to go by its tendencies. Whatever karmic substance which is still not dissolved, which will… which will form a certain type of tendency, will drive it in certain directions. Certain directions means wherever there is life, And the life is of such a nature that it breeds minimally. For example, a tamarind tree. If you go and watch the other trees, you will see a lot of birds will be sitting for the night's rest. No bird will settle down on a tamarind tree because the level of oxygen around a tamarind tree is extremely low. It may also move in the direction of a yogi who has a certain mastery over his breath because he is not breathing as much as others are breathing. A cobra also has a certain influence on this life simply because it holds its breath for long periods of time. There are hundreds of people who think they are possessed and all this, there is a science like that, one can use energies negatively to cause harm to somebody else. It's mostly receded, very little of that is happening. But if you live in certain areas, certain parts of the country, this is very rampant. One thing is, if you have such impacts, you come and sit in the sphere of Dhyanalinga, Because there are occult dimensions to Dhyanalinga which just nullifies all this. One Pavnami or Amavasya when you things are more receptive for you, just one day, just sit there and go, that's all. It gets taken care of. Your physical body is something that you have loaned from the planet on which you are living. When the time comes, the planet will claim it back. But the other dimensions of you, especially the karmic shell, continues to play. If it is in a certain level of awareness, The disembodied being is in a certain state of pleasantness. It is this that is being referred to as heaven because they have left their physical body in a certain state of awareness. They enjoy the sweetness at a certain period of time, a holiday, a vacation before you take on another physical body. Similarly, if people live in certain states of fear, anxiety, anger, in certain states of ignorance, the karmic shell has acquired a certain kinds of unpleasantness about itself. This unpleasantness is what we refer to as hell. Normally when somebody dies, we say, 
this person is no more. But that's not the truth. He's no more the way you experience him. But he still is in any other way. Don't take body lightly. It's not a small imprisonment. Unless you break it open, you can't leave it, isn't it? But when one realizes how they got in, now they know how to leave. A person consciously sheds the body without damaging the body in any way. Like you shed your clothes, you shed your body fully consciously. Then we say this is Mahasana. When a person leaves like this, that's the end. Truly no more. Once again, whatever you call as myself, and just dissolve and become a part of the process. Just that, nothing will happen.